All right, we're gonna program intro six or part number six. This is a profile that would be very difficult to do with a standard tool. We'd have to come in with multiple tools. So we're gonna do this all with a grooving tool. We can do that and use the grooving tool to both rough out by plunging as, in a, as a grooving tool normally would, and then we can come back in with that same tool and finish the profile. So that's what we're gonna do. I've already created a tool it is tool number three. We used it in our last program. It's just this eighth inch wide um, grooving tool. Again, our orientation is the front left corner, just like a turning tool would be. We've got an eighth out corner radius. We've got our step over, or our uh, final width here of an, of an eighth of an inch. And we're just gonna use that then to create this uh, profile. So I need to go insert a program or a block in the program. I'm going to insert turning profile, just like if we were doing this with a turning tool. Only we're going to call up our grooving tool. We're going to answer yes. We want all the speeds and feeds and all the information that we put in to the tool to come in. The operation, however, we're going to select either groove rough or groove finish. In this case, we're going to do a groove rough. Here's our step over, which is 50% of the tool. The cut clearance and retract clearance, that's how far we're gonna be when we approach the cut and how far we're gonna retract away. 45 degree retract angle. All the standard things we've been, we've been leaving alone in all of our previous uh, turning, we don't need to worry about anything here either because it's, a, it's an OD cut. I have a piece of stock set up, it's four inches long, two and an eighth in diameter. So we're gonna set up our rapid position. I'm gonna add the 200 thousandths to that two and an eighth, and then you just go to the next main diameter, which is gonna be two and three eighths. So 2.375. And I'll start at 0.2 in front. Let's go ahead and put some stock and turn allowance in here of 10 thou, and I'll just add five to all the faces. Now up to this point, Anytime we programmed a profile, we've always had the perpendicular moves. If we started with a turn, we ended with a face. If we started with a face, we ended with a turn. When we're doing profiles using a grooving tool, we're going to start and end both with a face. So we're gonna come down, do our profile, and then come off the part. So we'll have that U shape that you would see in a groove. So I'm gonna start at something a little bigger than the material. I'm gonna start at two inches 150 for our, our X diameter. And I'm gonna start 130, 130 thousandths away from the face. We have to start at least the width of the tool away from the face of the, of the part and maybe even a little bit more. So I'm gonna go 130. That'll give me an extra five thousandths away from the face when I come down to plunge for that first move. So there we're starting. We're above the material and actually in front of it. Our next segment is gonna be a face. We're gonna come down to 900 thousandths. My first diameter is one inch on the front of the part. I wanna be a little smaller than that so I can feed in, come up and break that corner. You see that all of the corners here are called for a break of 30 thousandths typical. So I'm gonna start, go down to a 0.9. Then I'm gonna do a turn into the face of the part. Next segment is gonna be a face up to that one inch diameter. When I get there, I'm gonna do a blend arc of 30 thousandths. Next segment will be a turn. We're gonna go minus 0.5. We're then gonna do another blend arc. Okay, we're gonna do another face. We're gonna come up to that first major diameter, which is two inches. We're gonna break that corner as well, so another blend arc of 30. Now we're gonna do a turn, and we're gonna go back one inch. Because we're using a grooving tool in this profile, it's gonna to know to add that uh, 
125,000, so it'll be cutting on the back side of the insert as we come down the back shoulder here. So I don't have to add that. I'm just going to turn back the one inch that I have on my print. Next is going to be a face. Now I'm going to come down the back side of that first shoulder to the top of the chamfer. So we're going to come down to 1.5. Then we're going to do a taper. We're going to taper down to a one inch diameter and to a Z of negative two inches. Those are print dimensions. You see it calculated my length and angle for me. Those weren't on the print. Now I'm going to do another turn and we're going to turn back to a negative two inches. I'm sorry. We're going to go to negative two inches. But we're going to go to the previous segment and we're going to change this ZN to actually negative 1.6. I mistyped that. So the bottom of that taper is one inch diameter, negative 1.6 from the front. Then we do that final turn back to a negative two inches. There is a radius there, so we're going to do an blend arc of 0 0.03. We're going to do a face. We're going to come up that shoulder to uh, two inches. Again, we're going to break that corner with 30 thousandths. Oops. And then the next segment is going to be a turn. We're going to go all the way past the end of the part, so I'm going to go three inches, 150. Minus 3.15. And then I said, I, if I started with a face, I have to end with a face. So now I'm all the way through the part. I'm beyond the end of the part for a cutoff if I was going to do something on the other side. So now I'm going to come up the face to that 2 inches 150 I started with. And we're done with our profile. So now if we go to the graphics here, we should be able to watch that run. It's going to profile plunge profile, that rough cut, you can see the stair steps. Um, when we see the profile, when we actually do the, the finished profile, you'll see where this blue line goes beyond the back of this so you can see where it did add that eighth of an inch for us and took care of the width of the tool on the back side. So now we're going to go to our program. We're going to highlight our groove rough. We're going to make it a finish profile. You see it took it to groove finish, took out all of our stock geometry. It's going to plunge it and then come back and finish it. Now you see here where we, where it cut that, um, it, it missed the backside here. So we have a couple of selections here also for our strategy on the groove finish. We have from end to middle, end to start, or start to end. I'm going to go from the start or the front of this all the way back to the end of the part. And you'll see that now it's going to rough this out and then come back in and finish that profile, giving us the, the final profile of the part. So hopefully you can see how that would work, how you can program something that you would need to get down inside something and not be able to use a normal turning tool. I could also done this with a 55 or 35 degree diamond to do the more back part of this or the, the major shape or the majority of the shape and then come back in with a uh, another tool that pointed towards the front to be able to get the back. But being able to use this grooving tool is a much better option. So the next print we're going to do will be the Intro 7. That'll be one you can do on your own. I'm going to come back and talk about programming that one a little bit, but I want to use that as an example to do the cutoff block.